What's up guys and welcome once again to another video. My name is Soy Ricardo and we have a pretty awesome video this week. I'm not gonna wanna spoil it, but there is a short little story film that I made over this last couple of days. Now, I've been wanting to get more into, you know, doing a little bit more of short films just because I feel that that challenges more my creativity and uh, well that is one of the things that i've been wanting to get better at as well telling stories i want to bring you guys better stories i'm just going to briefly kind of mention where i got all of this idea and all of this inspiration for this short film and uh, and we're just going to jump right into it and uh, tell me how it is at the very end so basically i've been reading this book by uh, Don Tapscott and this book is called Growing Up Digital. Now I'm not done with the book yet. It is a great book so far. Now this is a pretty old book. I believe this one came out in 2008 but even today in 2020 it has so much value and uh, you know so much that we can learn from something that was written back in 2008. Now, one of those specific things, which is kind of, it's kind of what the main story is about, and that is education. Now, we all know with this whole uh, new way of living in 2020, there is a lot of teachers and schools that are now learning from home, and uh, it's very hard. I see it myself because Sabrina, uh, she's a teacher, and uh, I see how hard it is on her. So this book, one of the chapters on this book was completely and only on education and it blew my mind. So I decided to make a little short film about this particular chapter in education. Now I did get a lot of inspiration from this chapter itself. So um, yeah, I hope you guys like it and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit at the very end of the video. All right. The educational system is out of date. Don't try to deny it. We've been using the old way of education for years. Teachers have been told this is the correct way to teach. Broadcast learning. That's where we teach to all students and not just to an individual. I say cut back on lecturing students, having them soak up all that information, then give them a test and based on those results you will know if he or she learned. Well, broadcast learning doesn't work for this generation. The net generation is a new breed of students born in a digital age, where we use computers and smartphones for everything, from finding a restaurant to simply texting a friend. We need to change the current curriculum based on the old fashioned educational systems and start asking more questions and listening more to each student. Let them co-create a learning experience with you. It is time to empower our students. Encourage them to collaborate. Don't just throw technology into a classroom and hope for learning to occur. Learning 2.0 is about dramatically changing the relationship between teacher and student. A more student-focused, customizable, collaborative learning environment. The teacher of the future is here. The one that takes each student as an individual, not a group. 
We need our teachers to focus on lifelong learning, not teaching to test. We need a web-based curriculum for teachers, where teachers can use technology to help expand the creative process for all students. A place where teachers become more of a mentor than an instructor. Education is all about helping them discover, helping them unearth their greatness, not by telling them what to do. So, let's design educational programs based on the digital age we now live in, where students have a choice, where they have more customization, where transparency and integrity is now part of the equation. A place of collaboration, innovation, fun, and speed. So let's strengthen this new generational culture and behavior in project-based learning. All right, guys, so what did you guys think of this video? It was pretty awesome, right? The educational system in this country, it's pretty outdated. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get notified for future videos, which more videos are coming. I actually have two other short films uh, in the works it's just a little bit hard to shoot a lot of these things by myself but uh, I'm working on it and uh, hopefully I will have that content out soon and uh, yeah that's pretty much it on my part guys thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video so stay safe out there peace